Hey YouTube, so I've made it to uh, Athens, Georgia. It's about, I don't know, a little bit after 8 p.m. So it's uh, mostly dark. There's still just a little bit, if I turn around you can see there's just a little bit of light uh, down there where the sun set over there. But it's mostly getting kind of dark, but there are a lot of street lights around here. So anyway, I'm unloading uh, kind of across the street from where I'm at. I'm in a little uh, truck stop here, in, or sort of a little fuel stop in Athens, Georgia. And uh, so it's, uh, you know, the load unloads, I don't know, a couple hours from now, 10 o'clock, maybe a little less now. So I'm here, and uh, I'll go over there, you know, maybe about 15 minutes point before the appointment time, 20, 15, 20 minutes, and uh, check in with them. So it turned kind of cooler than it was. It was, uh, when I got up this morning, it, it, it was about a little after 9 when my alarm went off, Eastern time, so I got up and... Uh, when I looked, it was 29 degrees, and then it weren't, you know, then it was like, or I'm sorry, 19 degrees, rather, and then 20 degrees. There was no, even though it snowed, you know, there were some little snow particles coming down. There was no, uh, zero, there was zero accumulation, nothing. Uh, but it was cold, and it, the wind was blowing pretty good. Mostly, as most of the day, the wind was blowing pretty good, and then, uh, so it's, it's still colder here. It's the, according to my phone weather widget, AccuWeather is supposed to get down to 30 degrees here tonight. And then the next few nights it'll be like 45, 46 degrees for the low and up in the 60s for the highs. So a little cooler air came down and then uh, of course some parts of the, some parts of the country it really got cold. So, but uh, in any case, I'll be unloading here in a while, and then I'll uh, either spend the night back over in this truck stop, or I know where there, I happen to know where there's a parking spot <laughs> around here that I can uh, that I can park at, because uh, this little truck stop doesn't. It's got a very uh, limited amount of parking. Whoop! They're making noises there with their brakes. So anyway, if I turn around, you can kind of see the. There's the, few, the gas islands. The fuel islands are actually on the other side. It's a little, a little bit noisy out here. So there's the fuel islands, and then uh, that's the back entrance over there of the uh, the, tri the fuel stop itself. So I am at the place. It's uh, getting close to 10 o'clock. It's just maybe about eight minutes before 10. So they've got a guard check with a stop sign right here, and so I've stopped. And I think when I was here before, it's been manned, but maybe they don't get here until 10 o'clock. So I'm just going to stand here for a while. Uh, right now, all I see is uh, there's some yard drivers that are kind of coming and going. So uh, maybe somebody will show up in a bit. So as it turns out, I was actually at the uh, wrong building, one of those yard drivers. Uh, stopped and told me where to go. I was just maybe a block uh, from where I needed to be. So anyway, now I'm backed into the door and uh, just probably, I don't know, it's probably, I'm expecting it maybe two or three hours before the, the load is unloaded. So anyway, I am here and uh, then get unloaded and who knows where, where the next load will go. I don't know how well it's showing up, probably not very well. What we're seeing there, maybe I can get a flashlight, a little flashlight out of my pocket. Uh, what we're seeing right there is, uh, that's a wheel chalk. 
but it's different than any that I've ever seen because it's, it's actually got it's electrical. It's got an electrical uh, sensor. And so if we follow the uh, wire, it actually goes up. And so they've got a system set up so that that, that light lights up whenever the wheel chalk is uh, in the uh, correct position. And I'm sure it tells them inside that the wheel chalk is actually, uh, has actually been uh, utilized. And that, that little thing right there, down there, uh, right here, that is actually a rodent station. And they have those things uh, to catch any uh, mice or rats that uh, might come along. They get that's a trap and so I that looks like it you know they may check it they have companies that come by and check those things ever so often and uh, that way they can catch any rodents they usually you'll see them in many you know you don't always see them but a lot of times I'll see them outside a building in a place like this or uh, oftentimes I'll see them inside warehouses and that just seems to be one of the standard things they do particularly inside a warehouse they'll have these rodent stations just in case there's any mice or rats that uh, are in there they'll, they'll the idea is that they'll become trapped so it's now later the load is unloaded well mostly unloaded uh, it turns out that uh, they rejected cases. Uh, there were two separate cases that were leaking and uh, apparently they were put on there that way. When they broke it down they found the leaking cases and so there were uh, 44 cases that got leaked on. I don't know, it's some kind of white chocolate or something, I don't know, but in any case I've got a total of 46 cases left on the trailer and so I called the night people and they made a note of it and I won't send the empty message on my Qualcomm won't send the empty message on my Qualcomm until uh, I call the claims department in the morning so in the meantime I found my parking spot and uh, so I'm just gonna be hanging out here for the rest of my break and I'll call them in the morning and uh, they'll tell me what to do with these cases and uh, I'm probably going to have to have the trailer washed out after that, so uh, just deal with it then. <laughs> so anyway, from uh, Athens, Georgia, catch you later.